एटलीस्ट सर जैसे अभी एग्जाम पोस्टपोन हुआ है तो ट्वेंटी डेज जो एक्स्ट्रा मिले थे तो उस पर मतलब वो इतने ज़्यादा नहीं है लेकिन जो माइंड सेट होता है कि हमारा एग्जाम पोस्टपोन हो गया ज़्यादा टाइम मिल गया तो जैसे पहले पढ़ाई मतलब एक टारगेट पे हो रही थी बट अब माइंड सेट ऐसा हो गया है कि टाइम ज़्यादा है तो उतनी एफिशिएंसी या चीज़ें मतलब डाइवर्जन ज़्यादा है एंड <laughs> दूसरी चीज़ जो है कि जो ज़्यादा समय मिला है तो उसमें मन ऐसा करता है कि ज़्यादा पढ़ना चाहिए <laughs> तो जो हमारा जो बेसिक पढ़ा हुआ है उससे ज़्यादा हम ट्राई करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं <laughs> तो इससे कैसे वन इज़ दैट नाउ ट्वेंटी डेज आर एडेड वॉट शुड वी डू राइट समू आज दैट क्वेश्चन यू आज दैट क्वेश्चन Uh, the answer is very simple don't think that 20 days are added at all because as soon as you know uh, you're working in an ecosystem where if you release the pressure your efforts are going to go down so number 1 20 days gap is not a very big gap it's just a psychological uh, relaxation that you have got so do not let it become a challenge for you itself right so you need to you need to eliminate that mindset itself ki that you have got any extra time just solve one full length test on the day prelims was scheduled so your one iteration of prelims will happen before the actual prelims earlier prelims was scheduled on which date 26 so your prelims is still on 26 have that conviction in yourself number 1 right number second question was that i want to revise but i could not all of us know that revision is important all of us wants to do it but still if we are not able to execute it then what is the challenge here tell me any guesses what is the challenge hai huh? willpower. willpower any other Hmm. Right, right. You have already moved to other topic. Yes. Right, right, right. So, sab padha padha lag raha hai. It means that you get a feeling that you have already studied it so much. What is the need of revision? Right. Complacency. Yeah. This is also a very important thing that you have a huge syllabus in front of you. You have tests that are lined up. right so what is the even though you know it is important you know everything in theory but still its execution becomes a difficult task i see that there are two problems here number 1 we have not prioritized revision in our own psyche right every person takes a decision based on how they feel about things it means that there is a conditioning that you are having in your subconscious mind that tells you even though you skip this revision things will be done and how from where it is coming it is coming from your experience in colleges and schools it is coming from a education system that was too long that made you condition yourself right it means that your own conditioning is preventing you from doing revision it means that you will have to decondition yourself right i'll tell you how to decondition yourself now what is the second problem second problem is lack of awareness it means we are not aware about our own schedule itself we have not planned meticulously we have not placed revision into our most urgent and most important task so these two gaps which are there in your schedule which makes you pass the revision thing because you think doing other things are important but even i would like to ask this question to you and to my fellow mentors there is one thing that we believe can help you in passing prelims and that is consolidation i think you would agree right consolidation if you have not consolidated and you are just expanding your frontiers you are trying to do more things without consolidating what you have already done then a lot of issues that you are already facing those issues will continue that point revision looks complacent like you feel like you have already done 
Remember one thing, revision is going to be boring. Would you agree revision is boring? Yeah, it, it, when you are doing it for a, after a large gap, you would feel that you're, you're doing it for the first time. But doing boring things repeatedly can only ensure success in this exam. I want you to write this down. You will have to develop that capacity to do boring things repeatedly. You will have to train yourself. And that's where this willpower concept also comes in. If you want to become better at something, you do it regularly. And that thing is going to be boring if you are doing it regularly. And it does not apply just to revision. It applies to virtually everything. Right? So in coming time, we are also going to see how to schedule our timetable in which we will tell you how to place revision at priority number one. If you don't do revision, don't brush your teeth. Because you won't brush your teeth, you won't be able to eat anything. Brushing teeth is important to you, right? Why it is important? Means you, you can eat without brushing your teeth also. Why it is important? It, it is hygienic. If you don't do it, you will feel that you are missing something. Till the time you get the same feeling for revision, revision will not happen. Revision is also a very important hygiene for this exam. Right? If you're not doing revision, something unhygienic is going on. It's just that you're not aware about it. So keep this in urgent, most important thing, revision. Do not move on to other subjects until you are confident of consolidating the previous one. And we will also discuss that you can separate some time for revision along with whatever subjects that you are doing.